everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. For today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and instead of sharing a recipe with you guys, I thought I would share with you some of my favorite things. Some of these things I have been loving for a long time and some are new finds that um, I just wanted to share with you. So I broke this video up into three parts. I have a beauty section, a food section, and a, I guess I'll call it a lifestyle section because it's just random stuff. So I hope you enjoy these things and um, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we've moved into the bathroom and for the beauty portion of this video, I wanted to show you a couple of these products that I absolutely love. The first one, I've talked about this many times before, but it definitely bears repeating because I love it so much. It's the Thayer's um, Facial Mist Toner. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for about a year now, and it has really, really helped my skin. I put it on twice a day. I use it in the morning when I get out of the shower after I dry my face off and I also use it at night after I take my makeup off. You just give a few squirts on your face, give it about 20 seconds to soak in and then put your moisturizer on. It is so refreshing, it has aloe in it, and um, it I think it's, it's really helped my skin. The best part about it is um, I get it at the grocery store and it's like $8 a bottle. Um, and it has really good reviews if you look it up online. Uh, it's one of the best ones out there. I think it's great and I highly, highly recommend it. The next product I wanted to talk about is this product, which is new to me. Let's see if my phone will focus here. I just started using it. It's the Tarte Concealer. It's called Shape Tape. Um, I've been wanting to try this concealer for a long time because I've heard such good things about it. And I really, really struggle with dark circles under my eyes. Um, and I'm always looking for a concealer uh, to cover those. Um, this one uh, always is um, highly recommended, but I didn't want to spend the money on buying a full one because I wanted to try it. So I bought the travel size, uh, which was only $10. And um, I think that's a really good tip if you want to try a product but don't want to buy the full size, just buy the travel size. It was 10 bucks. I've been using it for a week and I really, really like it. So I think in this case, I will splurge and buy the full one when this is gone. It's a thick concealer, which I like and has full coverage. So yeah, if you're looking for a good concealer, if you have dark circles under your eyes like I do, this is a really good product. I highly recommend it. Um, and speaking of face, makeup, I just wanted to mention because some people have asked me, for foundation, I use the Bare Minerals um, Mineral Foundation. I have been using this stuff for years, like 20-ish years, I want to say, a very long time. I've tried other ones over the past. They're never as good as this one. I always go back to it. I love it. I know some people have issues with mineral foundation. I don't. It takes to my skin really well. It's light and it, it stays all day. And um, yeah, I really like it. I use the Fairly Light, uh, the original formula. I don't use the matte one. And um, yeah, that's what I use. I use this and that. And then the last one I wanted to talk about is this lip balm which is the Beauty For Real Lip Balm. I have been wearing this every day for the past couple of months and I absolutely love the color. I'm gonna open it up. It's a pink color. I'm wearing it right now. It's called JJ. These lip balms are so moisturizing. I have really dry lips and this one I absolutely love. Um, it's been really good for my lips. So I actually just ordered another one of these in a different color for summer. I ordered it online. It hasn't come yet. I will show you guys when it comes and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, there are my beauty favorites right now. Okay, back in the kitchen and I wanted to share with you a couple of 
recipes and kitcheny things that um, I've been loving lately. Uh, but first, I just want to show you something that I just noticed on the counter. So this is our coffee pot and our cups from this morning and this one is Rob's and this one is mine and I just thought it was funny because his is the Elvis and mine is the Lucy and um, yeah, I just thought that looked cute. Anyway, back to the video. So since being home, I've been doing a lot of baking, which I think a lot of people are. We are craving comfort food around here. Um, I've been making a lot of banana bread, a lot of brownies, uh, I made a couple of cakes. It's um, a lot of comfort food, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, we try to get out for our daily walks and get some exercise, which makes us feel a little bit less guilty about all the sweets. But anyways, if you're like me and you have had chocolate chip cookies on repeat, I wanted to share with you a little tip. I don't know why, because I'm not a professional baker, but a good tip for making chocolate chip cookies is you make the cookie dough the night before and then refrigerate it overnight. The next day when you make the cookies, they come out so good. For some reason, um, refrigerate that dough overnight and they just come out so delicious. They keep their shape, they're nice and fluffy, so, so good. So this is the um, recipe, the chocolate chip recipe, cookie recipe I've been making for the past like three months. It's the Hershey's Great American Chocolate Chip Cookies. I'll see if I can link it down below. It comes from this book I have, uh, which is a dangerous book called the Hershey Chocolate Lover's Cookbook. Um, it's an easy recipe, it's basic, and the cookies come out so good. I made this dough last night, and I'm gonna make the cookies in a couple minutes. And um, the best part about it is when you go to make the cookies, there's no cleanup because you did all your dishes the day before. You just have to scoop them out, put them on the cookie sheet, and bake them. So that's a good tip. I also have been making some healthy recipes, which is another good thing to kind of balance out all the sweets. I've made homemade granola bars and also um, blueberry breakfast cookies. They're made with oatmeal and applesauce and mashed bananas and they're really, really good too, really healthy. So they've been a good choice uh, for snacks. I will also link them in the description down below. Another thing I discovered um, while being home the last couple months was this awesome iced coffee recipe that my friend sent me. She saw it on TikTok and then I looked it up and it is so good. I've been making one every day, every afternoon for an iced coffee break. You make it with this, which I buy anyways and I usually have it hot. It's an instant coffee but it doesn't really taste like instant coffee. It's so creamy and yummy. But um, to make it the iced coffee way, which I'll show you in a minute, you mix it with hot water, uh, two tablespoons of hot water, and then you pour it over ice and milk. It is so, so good. I have been, yeah, having a lot of iced coffees. Uh, two things I want to share with you as far as food is concerned is a couple of websites um, or Instagram accounts. The first one, um, I made a key lime pie a couple weeks ago and I got the recipe off of an Instagram account that I absolutely love. Um, her name is Emily Schumann and uh, I absolutely love her. She um, run, runs a website and um, online shop called Cupcakes and Cashmere. I'll try to link the um, website to her blog and shop down below and also her Instagram account. She has some really, really awesome recipes and I've been loving her account lately. Um, and I did make her key lime pie, which I don't have a picture of. I wish I filmed it. Uh, I filmed it on Instagram stories, but then I didn't save it, so I don't have it anymore. But the key lime pie was so easy and it was yummy. And now that the weather is getting warmer around here and it's feeling like summer, it was just the perfect dessert. So I'm gonna link that below. And the second account I wanted to share is another one I've been loving called Six Sisters. Uh, they have an Instagram account and also a website and I will link them down below. They have some fantastic recipes. 
Uh, I've been loving their recipes and their whole account. It's actually six sisters and every day they take turns um, posting. I'm trying a new recipe from them tonight. It's a honey lime chicken recipe. I have the chicken marinating and you grill it and we'll see how that comes out. And if it comes out good, then I'll share it on my blog or maybe on my next video. But I will link those two accounts below. If you're looking for something different, some inspiration, Emily has some awesome um, fashion and makeup plus recipes. She, she's fantastic. And Six Sisters is great too. They just, a lot of inspiration and really good ideas. So if you're looking for something different, I will link them down below you guys is something I am very passionate about and that is my favorite jeans. Uh, I wear these jeans all the time. They are so comfortable. They are so affordable and I wanted to share the brand. So I cannot bring myself to spend $100 for jeans. I just can't do it. Um, I love jeans. I'm in them all the time but I don't want to spend a million dollars. So I wear these ones. They are Gloria Vanderbilt and it's the style is Amanda they're so flattering they're a flat front jean um, and I think they work really well they're really flattering on the thigh area they're a straight leg jean and uh, they have a stretch to them but they're not clingy they don't stick to you I hate jeans that are like skin tight. These ones are just a perfect fit. They're super comfortable. They get more comfortable with every wash. I have them in a size eight, I believe. I think it's an eight. And um, yeah, I had got these at Kohl's a few months ago, but I always get the Amanda style. Um, there's something about them. They're just super, super flattering and they're really affordable. They're like 25 bucks. So if you're into jeans and you're looking for a really comfortable pair, I highly recommend these. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in my last vlog when I was out and about running errands and I went to the library, I picked up this book, which is called The Light Between Two Oceans. Um, and the funny thing is, that was the last time that I was at the library or out of the house at all because a week later, everything changed. So we had gotten an email from our local library saying that any books checked out, you could just keep them at home until further notice because the library is closed. So I've had this book for ages. I can't return it. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update that it was an excellent, excellent book and I loved it. So when your library opens again, I highly recommend this book. It was, it was a pretty fast read and it was just a really nice story. I loved it. Uh, it's by someone called M. L. Stedman. So The Light Between Two Oceans. It's a good book. Read it. I, I know that some people can download um, books on their Kindle, so if that's an option for you and you're looking for something to read, you could give that a try. I've tried it. I have a Kindle, but I just can't get used to it. I just, I don't know, I like a book. But um, I keep thinking to myself, if I had known that this was going to happen, I would have gotten so many books when I was at the library that day. But I didn't. Who knew? So another recommendation I wanted to give you guys is podcasts. Uh, my favorite podcast. I don't know if you're into listening to podcasts. I listen to them all the time, especially when I'm at work. And now that I'm working from home, I still listen to them while I'm working. It just kind of helps me concentrate and makes things feel a little bit more normal. But uh, my favorite podcast that I listen to, and I think I've talked about this before, is a podcast called The History Chicks. And what it is, it's two women, Susan and Beckett, and they take a famous woman from history and they discuss her life. But the way that it's done is so um, conversational and informal and fun, and they really get to the like the human factor, human side of the person. And it's I have learned so much from these ladies, and um, the subjects are so fun. Like they have everyone. They had. Um, a Lucille Ball one, which I of course loved, but they have everyone from like the Queens of England, um, First Ladies, they had an awesome one on Zelda Fitzgerald, which I loved, um, Audrey Hepburn, they've done Josephine Baker, Clara Bow, um, Marie Antoinette, which was their first podcast, which was awesome, they've done all the wives of Henry VIII, 
everyone. Uh, it's a great, great show. I just recently listened to, I think it's their second most recent one, on Typhoid Mary, which was very appropriate for what's going on right now. And it was so interesting. Um, it's it's really a great great podcast they have tons to pick from so if you're looking for something to occupy your ears while you're working or doing housework or cleaning um i highly suggest it the history chicks and i will link it down below enjoying in addition to watching a lot of movies and tv is looking through old pictures uh, we've been having family nights where we've been taking out buckets of just pictures that i had in storage and looking through them and it's been so fun i pulled out all these old pictures of john that i just absolutely love and i'm going to uh, do a scrapbook and put them all together in a book just because I love them so so much. I also found this picture of me and Rob that I don't even remember when it was taken but I like it so I'm going to keep it out. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, you can uh, instead of having movie nights have family picture night and um, you know reminisce a little bit. It's fun. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sharing with you some of my current favorite things. Maybe I'll do this every couple months just to kind of let you guys know what I'm what I'm loving. And um, I will try to post all those links in the description down below. I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying spring. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.